Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on transmission by shear, uh, which also takes in invariance line. It is an IGCSE uh, GCSE uh, question. Now, what I'm going to do here, or what I should try and do here, is not to answer the question exactly as you do in an exam situation. So, because this is a revision, so it take a bit longer what I'm doing here than you do in the exam. In the exam, you probably do it in two or three minutes or so. Right, so what I'm going to try and do is to give you uh, various options by which you can answer this question. All right, now it says that uh, triangle PQR has been transformed by shear such that the point Q with coordinates 2, 3 is now Q prime with coordinates uh, 11, 3. The X axis is the invariance line. Yeah, the x-axis is the invariance line. So this is now my triangle PQR. Uh, after transformation, Q now becomes Q prime at the point 11, 3. Now, for this question, I've added another line to bring this to uh, additional mathematics standards. So you don't have to do the last bit. Okay, if you do just, if you do IGCSE, you do not have you do not have to do the last bit. Okay, now it says, um, what is the uh, shear factor? And uh, secondly, or the next part says, uh, complete the image of triangle PQR after this transformation. Now, the bit that says confirm your results using matrices, now that would be a requirement, or you know, it, it, that's a requirement for uh, additional mathematics. So if you did if you didn't IGCSE, you don't have to do that. Okay. There we go. Right. The displacement for Q to Q prime we can get as nine because the X coordinate of Q is two and the X coordinate of Q prime is eleven. Now eleven minus two will give us nine units. So the displacement from Q to Q prime is nine units. The line QR intersects the invariance line at the point. O. The distance from O to Q is 3. Okay? So to, to get the shear factor, you, you divide the displacement from Q to Q prime by the distance from O to Q. So if you divide 9 by 3, you get 3. So the shear factor is 3. Okay? Hope I'm making sense. All right. Okay. Now for part B, we need to complete the image of triangle PQR after this transformation. Right, two things to bear in mind here. Now firstly, all the points on the line OP do not change after transformation. So the line O, so the point O and the point P remain where they are. So uh, secondly, the equivalent lines the equivalent lines on the object and the equivalent lines on the image will either meet at the point on the invariance line or they will meet at the point on where they, they intersect each other at the point on the invariance line. So we expect that P prime Q prime will intersect at the point P. So the point P and the point P prime will have the same coordinates as we've got here. Now what about R prime? Now we know that we know that QR intersects the invariance line at O. So we also we then expect the equivalent line Q prime R prime to intersect uh, the equivalent line at O, which means that Q prime R prime and QR will intersect at the point O. So now, if we draw a line from Q prime to O and extend, yep, yeah, and extend, we then have this one here. So now we know that the position of R prime is to the left of R, and because the displacement from Q to Q prime is nine units. We now expect the displacement from R to R prime to be nine units as well. So, so R prime is going to be 
at coordinates. Uh, we have coordinates minus 7, minus 3. So now we are now in a position to uh, complete the triangle P prime, Q prime, R prime. And that is the image of uh, PQR after transformation by a shear factor of 3. Now at this point it can stop. So this is now your IGCSC completed. Now the next section will be for anybody doing um, additional mathematics. Okay. So the transformation matrix for sorry, the matrix for uh, transformation by shear is given by this one here. Now the three there, the three is the shear factor in this case. Now we know that the coordinates of PQR are as shown here, six zero two three and two minus three. Now our image says that the coordinates of the equivalent points P prime, Q prime, and R prime are six zero eleven three minus seven three. Now, to confirm this easy matrix, we do this here. Now, the x coordinate of a point, or P, P or Q or R, a point in the image will be given by 1 times x, where x is the x coordinate of a point, a equivalent point on the object, and y is the y coordinate, y coordinate of the equivalent point on the object. So, now we do uh, 1 times 6 which is 6, 3 times 0, which is 0, and 6 plus 0 will give us 6. So 6 is the x coordinate of the um, of the image P prime. Now what about Q prime? Now 1 times 2 is 2, 3 times 3 is 9, oops, sorry, and 9 plus 2 will give us 11. So 11 is the x coordinate of the point q prime now what about r prime now one times two is two three times minus three is minus nine now minus nine plus two will give us minus seven so minus seven is the uh, x coordinate of uh, of the point r prime now what about y's now to do y we do a similar thing again using this formula here now, can you try and do that yourself and see what you get? And you should get you should get that the y coordinates of the object and the image points will be the same. Okay. Now check it out yourself and see what you get. Now I hope all that made some sense. And please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and bye bye now. Bye bye.